there are two approaches to information management for analytics. The top-down or deductive approach is where analytics is done starting with a clear understanding of corporate strategy where theories and hypotheses are made upfront. The right data model is then designed and implemented prior to any data collection. Oftentimes, the top-down approach is good for descriptive and diagnostic analytics. What happened in the past and why did it happen? The bottom-up or inductive approach is the approach where data is collected up front before any theories and hypotheses are made. All data is kept so that patterns and conclusions can be derived from the data itself. This type of analysis allows for more advanced analytics such as doing predictive or prescriptive analytics. What will happen and or how can we make it happen? There are arguments that both approaches are needed for innovation to be successful. Oftentimes what happens is the bottom-up approach becomes part of the top-down approach. Data warehousing uses a top-down approach for analytics. The data warehouse leverages the top-down approach where there is a well-architected information store and enterprise-wide BI solution. To build a data warehouse, you follow the top-down approach where the company's corporate strategy is defined first. This is followed by gathering of business and technical requirements for the warehouse. The data warehouse is then implemented by dimensional modeling and ETL design followed by the actual development of the warehouse. This is all done prior to any data being collected. It uses a rigorous and formalized methodology because a true enterprise data warehouse supports many users and applications within an organization to make better decisions. The data lake, on the other hand, leverages a bottom-up approach. A data lake is an enterprise-wide repository of every type of data collected in a single place. Data of all types can be arbitrarily stored in the data lake prior to any formal definition of requirements or schema for the purpose of operational and exploratory analytics. Advanced analytics can then be done by using Hadoop or machine learning tools, or act as lower cost data preparation location prior to moving curated data into the data warehouse. In these cases, customers would load data into the data lake prior to defining any transformation logic. This is a bottom-up approach because data is collected first and the data itself gives you the insights and helps derive conclusions or predictive models. There are several challenges involved in implementing a data lake. Firstly, data silos. This is when analytics is done centrally and data resides in silos. In this case, systems cannot scale to store exponentially growing data. Next, analytics. Limits on account and file sizes increase development costs, and it's not possible to easily run a variety of analytic tools on the same data. Next, performance and scale. Data analysis is slow because of storage performance, or it is complicated to store data from Internet of Things stores. Too much time and money is spent on getting insights from the data, or data grows at a different rate than the analytics workloads. And finally, security. There could be compliance challenges, and it could be difficult to effectively control access to the data. Azure Data Lake can broadly be divided into three parts. Azure Data Lake Store provides the repository necessary to persist the influx of data. And Azure Data Lake Analytics offers a mechanism for picking apart that data. Azure HD Insight is added to the data lake mix and is a service that offers a wide range of Hadoop-based tools for additional analytic capabilities. The value of the data lake resides in its ability to develop solutions across data of all types, unstructured, semi-structured, and structured. This begins with the Azure Data Lake Store, a single repository to capture and access any type of data for high-performance processing and analytics and low-latency workloads with enterprise-grade security. For example, data can be ingested in real-time from sensors and devices for IoT solutions, or from online shopping websites into the store without the restriction of fixed limits on account or file size, unlike current offerings in the market. As part of Azure Data Lake, the store supports development of your big data solutions with the language or framework of your choice. Azure Data Lake Analytics lets you focus on the logic of your application, not the distributed infrastructure running it. 
built on Apache Yarn and designed for the cloud, the analytics service can handle jobs of any scale instantly by simply setting the dial of how much power you need. It includes uSQL, a new query language that unifies the ease of use of SQL with the expressive power of C-sharp. Azure Data Lake is a key part of Cortana Analytics Suite for big data applications, with a centralized repository of structured and unstructured data with elastic scale for enterprise-wide analytics. This gives you a complete cloud big data and advanced analytics platform to help you with everything from preparing data to doing interactive analysis on large-scale data sets. Major highlights of the Azure Data Lake capabilities are analytics on any data, any size, productivity from day one, and enterprise ready. A data lake analytics project begins by logging into the Azure portal and creating a data lake analytics account. An Azure data lake account can be created quickly and is free. Next, prepare the source data. Data Lake Analytics job can read data from either Azure Data Lake Store accounts or Azure Blob Storage accounts. Next, develop and write a uSQL script and submit a job to the Data Lake Analytics account. The job reads from the source data, processes the data as instructed in the uSQL script, and then saves the output to either a Data Lake Store account or a Blob Storage account. Let's now take a closer look at the Azure Data Lake Store. Azure Data Lake Store is an enterprise-wide hyperscale repository for big data analytics workloads. Azure Data Lake enables you to capture data of any size, type, and ingestion speed in one single place for operational and exploratory analytics. It can be accessed from Hadoop using Web HDFS compatible REST APIs. It is specially designed to enable analytics on the stored data and is tuned for performance for data analytics scenarios. Out of the box, it includes all enterprise grade capabilities, security, manageability, scalability, reliability, and availability, all essential for real world enterprise use cases. Microsoft describes Data Lake Store as a hyperscale repository for big data analytic workloads. It lets you store all of your data and analyze them in their native format. It's a Hadoop file system which is compatible with HDFS and works with the Hadoop ecosystem. It provides industry standard availability and reliability and also provides enterprise grade security for all data. It provides unlimited storage and is suitable for storing a variety of data. And it is built for running large-scale analytic systems that require massive throughput to query and analyze large amounts of data. Data Lake Store allows you to store any data. It also does not require that the schema be defined before the data is loaded. This data can be sourced from devices, videos, and web applications. The data can be further classified into unstructured data, this data either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized. It is typically text heavy and may contain data like dates, numbers, and facts. It could be classified as semi-structured data. These are self-describing structures that do not conform with the formal structure of data models associated with the relational database or other forms of data tables. And finally, it could be classified as structured data. This data resides in a fixed field within a record file. It includes data contained in relational databases and spreadsheets. The Azure Data Lake is built from the ground up as a native Hadoop distributed file system working out of the box with the Hadoop ecosystem, including Azure HD Insight, common Hadoop distributions like Hortonworks, Cloudera, and other Apache projects like Spark, Storm, Kafka, R, and more. One of the priority requirements is the availability of data at any place and any time. Azure Data Lake Store provides industry standard availability and reliability in the following ways. The Azure Data Lake Store automatically replicates the data to help against unexpected hardware failures and to make sure that it's available when you need it. Microsoft keeps three copies within a single region. And this helps guard against unexpected hardware failures and make sure it's available when you need it. 
Azure Data Lake Store provides unlimited storage and is suitable for storing a variety of data for analytics. It has unbounded scale with no limits to how much data can be stored in a single account. While other cloud storage offerings might restrict individual file sizes to 5 terabytes, Azure Data Lake can store very large files in the petabyte range with immediate read-write access and high throughput. Everything can be collected and stored in Azure Data Lake without restriction or prior understanding of business requirements. Azure Data Lake Store optimizes the performance for analytic systems. It is built for running large analytic systems that require massive throughput to query and analyze petabytes of data. It is optimized for parallel computation across petabytes of data and automatically optimizes for any throughput level. Let's now take a closer look at Azure Data Lake Analytics. Azure Data Lake Analytics is a new distributed analytics service built on Apache Yarn that complements the Data Lake Store. The analytics service can handle jobs of any scale instantly with on-demand processing power and a pay-as-you-go model that's very cost-effective for short-term or on-demand jobs. The service supports Azure Active Directory for access control, roles and integration with on-premises identity systems. It includes a scalable distributed runtime called uSQL, a language that unifies the benefits of SQL with the expressive power of user code. And lastly, uSQL's scalable runtime processes data across multiple Azure data sources. Azure Data Lake Analytics allows you to compute on data anywhere and join data from multiple cloud sources. With Azure Data Lake, you can easily develop big data applications and workload. Data Lake Analytics make it easy through deep integration with Visual Studio so that you can use familiar tools to run, debug, and tune your big data application code. The uSQL support in Azure Data Lake tools for Visual Studio includes state-of-the-art support for authoring, debugging, and advanced performance analysis features for increased productivity when optimizing jobs running across thousands of nodes. Visualizations of your uSQL code allow you to see how your code runs at scale and identify performance bottlenecks and cost optimizations, making it easier to tune your queries. Microsoft looked at Hive and other big data languages to identify patterns and data processing requirements and then integrate them into their framework. This makes them easy to use, familiar to a wide range of developers, and powerful for many standard types of analytics and warehousing. Millions of SQL and .NET developers can now process and analyze all of their data by using skills that they already have. Azure Data Lake works with all your Azure data. Data Lake Analytics can work with a number of Azure data sources, including Azure Blob Storage, Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, Azure Store, and Azure SQL Databases in Azure VMs. Also, Azure Data Lake Analytics is specially optimized to work with Azure Data Lake Store, providing the highest level of performance, throughput, and parallelization for your big data workloads.